Morgellons nanotags for readable, writable, programmable humans. Chemtrails, GMO and transhumanism. We've all he heard of Morgellons. It's uh, found in the saliva of humans, the tissue of humans, the tissue of the skin. It's in the blood. And in cultures, these Morgellons cells are found to reproduce themselves. The CDC is trying to investigate Morgellons. People that have Morgellons feel a very eerie skin crawling sensation. Many people also have lesions on their skin and protruding fibers from their skin. It's believed that chemtrails is what is bringing these substances into the atmosphere and to the environment. And this is also what's bringing these substances on our skin and into our bodies. If we would like to see if we have more gallons, we can take the wine test. And many people have taken this wine test and found that they do have more gallons in their saliva. The CDC had a study and the results of the study stated this. It showed that this condition appears to be uncommon among a population representative of North Carolina residents. Skin damage from the sun was the most common skin abnormality found and no single underlying medical condition or infectious source was identified. Upon thorough analysis, most sores appeared to result from chronic scratching and picking without an underlying cause. The CDC concluded that, quote, the materials and fibers obtained from skin biopsy specimens of Morgellons patients were mostly cellulose compatible with cotton fibers, end quote. But this is where they shot themselves in the foot. In short, cellulose is a mixed material composed of many individual components. It forms the supporting structure of plant cells and therefore is present in all plants. Cellulose is indigestible to humans. As a result, cellulose is one from linters. These very short fibers cannot be spun and accumulated as a byproduct of cotton. Linters are composed almost exclusively of cellulose. They are cleansed for use in foodstuffs. Impurities are separated. Note, we have to keep in mind the cellulose content of cotton fiber is 90%. What if the cotton is genetically modified cotton, GMO cotton? Fibers tested that were extruding from the skin of Morgellons patients was incompatible with human DNA and is not produced by the human body. So where do these fibers come from? Morgellons disease is man-made. What is the composition of Morgellons fibers? The fuzzy white fibers are cotton balls that are found growing on top of the skin lesions. There were colored fibers or threads as well, usually pink, blue and black, found under the skin, even the surrounding healthy tissue, and often poke through the lesions. Then there are the clear fibers that have a small golden bulb in the end. The white fuzzy fibers or cotton balls were found to be fluorescent, and glow when exposed to ultraviolet light. Human cells do not have any fluorescent properties, concluding that this is a foreign object. Fluorescent property in a human body is not natural, which suggests that the glowing fuzzy fibers quite possibly originated from a transgenetic organism that was residing in the Morgellons lesion. Scientists were curious as to how such an organism got into the Morgellons victims. One of the fluorescent proteins was identified as belonging to the bacteria known as Chromobacterium violaceum, generally found in the soil and water of subtropical regions. It produces an antioxidant called violacine. The bacteria may be responsible in part for deadly immune 
system infections that are concurrently resistant to antibiotics. I'd like to leave you a video concerning mind control, smart dust, nanotags, morgellon fibers, chemtrailing, what the morgellons cells look like, how they reproduce. And these are, this is a video I'd like to leave a link for you to see. It's about 20 minutes and it's very um, informative because they have evidence as to what these Morgellons fibers are. Their um, nano tag smart dust for mind control and uh, physiological control. I, I suppose you would call it transhumanism. And it's frightening because people have no control over this. Okay, this is a sample of uh, my uh, saliva and red wine and rubbing alcohol 90% and you see that well I didn't brush my teeth I had dinner with my son we had chicken and potatoes so that uh, there's this is obviously the remainder of the food and there's nothing moving thank goodness so there's no evidence of Morgellons in there unlike the sample that you're going to see in the vid video I'll have embedded for you where a woman does take a sample of uh, a red wine swirl and um, we see things moving tremendously on their own in the liquid of red wine, saliva and rubbing alcohol. It's amazing because, uh, I don't know, to me it's just awesome and frightening. So thank goodness I was happy enough to see that I didn't, I didn't have any of this. And I'll leave links below for you if um, you want to see the video. It's about 20 minutes.